Okay, I'm Anna. This is Ontario. <laughs> We're going to tag team this one. Um, and we'd like to see um, how many examples we can give you in our short five minutes of people who we are learning from about how to make connected learning work where you are, with the tools you have, the constraints you have, and the institutions that you have, and um, to make those constraints generative. So these are people like Jose Rodriguez, um, who is always succeeding at finding ways to connect and engage his, with his students in conversations that are happening beyond classroom walls. Um, one simple way he does this is with a Twitter um, handle, and he always uses hashtags um, that are happening, trending around the um, the world. And then there's Aaron Klein, <laughs> who uses um, augmented reality practices to build and construct different positions with which the students then enter texts that they're reading in, in their classroom. So can I just say that right as we're running up here, as Janae was finishing, and it's like, we're next, what are we going to say? Which I think is the best way for us to think about trying to compose and ignite as we're composing it, as we're performing it. So I want to talk about composing and interpreting. So I have one quote that I'm going to read here uh, from a painter named Robert Irwin. Uh, and he says, shapes on a painting are just shapes on a canvas unless they start acting on each other and in a sense multiplying. A good painting has a gathering interactive buildup. When they've got it, they just jump off the goddamn wall at you. Right? Now I want us to think about what is the interactive buildup in people like Stephanie Westpuckett and Kevin Hodgson and the ways they're using multimedia text and networking with each other and thinking about the types of work that young people can be producing in their classrooms. I can't believe you made that work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you were so <laughs> off your slides. Okay, so anyway, we're uh, we're really fascinated about how these media can then spin and weave with the way with the way that we work them. So we've been using wall art that's happening in our communities that we've then mediated in some way, and since we've done that, you're able to share it now, and it's able to send on further than this. So there are so many people using that sort of uh, capacity in their places. So Jamila Liscott is an example of that. She's researching with youth, their communities, and their world, and then with a findings that they're coming from their research. They're creating multimedia and embodied performances. And then they're sharing in those with audiences in varied ways. Very powerful. There's also the CL MOOC that's happening starting like next week, shout out. Um, and so these are ways that educators can get together through the summer and experience for themselves connected learning. To so watch their messages and their artifacts meet others and see what it means to be connected. My greatest pain in life is that I will never be able to see myself perform. Does anybody in 20 seconds, t two seconds, know who said that? Kanye West. So I do want to point out that in a space where we talk about designing equity, Kanye West is the most important person for us to be thinking about in terms of who are role models that own the digital swagger that we need young people to see. My pre-service teacher, Maria Rodriguez, is speaking to other pre-service teachers through her blog and thinking about what is the positionality of young teachers of color owning their classroom spaces. Likewise, Janelle Benz is thinking about the role of inquiry and being in conversation with other people at places like the National Writing Project and how are they owning these positions as women, as teachers, of color who are speaking out as role models, right? So what is that space of the digital swagger in 2015? And all of these teachers not only see past the four walls in their classrooms, they see their four walls as part of this larger ecology of learning that the youth are connected with, and that youth are driving their learning pathways through those spaces. And it's a very humanizing experience in their, in their places. So like Dawn Reed, who in, um, with her students invites them to examine their own cultures, so to use their devices to start to make the familiar strange and the strange familiar, to really understand who am I in this world and what am I not seeing, what's my, you know, what's invisible around me. And Aram Kabodian, who's, who was inspired by Humans of New York, you've seen that, um, his students go out and photograph and do portraits and interviews with people in um, East Lansing to then humanize this space they have together. So building from this, we want to think about what is the wishing wall of the digital age, right? What are the ways that we are wishing and constructing together to dismantle the digital and, and hegemonic challenges in classrooms and spaces today, right? So thinking about that, what are the challenges for young people such as the Uni Project? <laughs> <laughs> so so the, the Uni Project is an awesome project that is a mobile library where they partner with communities and local neighborhoods to bring a library and drawing spaces into the streets where youth are and their, and their adults. Likewise, at the Schools for Community Action, a couple miles away in South Central Los Angeles, educators like Mark Gomez and teachers and students and parents are working together to create the Schools for Community Action, a partner-wide community uh, space 
with South Central Los Angeles, right? To rehumanize re that space. Going too fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, these are some of the many examples that we could have done if we could speak faster. So what we'd like to do actually <laughs> is invite you right now to pick up a device and share out someone who you're learning from about how to make connected learning work where you are with what you have. And our last example then is Troy Hicks from whom we remixed his presentation that he had done and we added some of our own teachers to that mix and we invite you to right now, I'm serious, pick them up. I don't see you doing it. <laughs> All right.